Greetings, everyone. For this week's Midweek Devo, I'd like to share with you some thoughts on some familiar words of Jesus uh, that come from Matthew chapter 11, starting in verse 28. And I'll go ahead and read those verses now. Jesus says, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. There is a video that has gone viral recently that I think expresses really well just the collective angst that we're all experiencing uh, during this season. I'm sure a lot of you have seen it. Uh, it's of a young woman who is a music teacher. And she says that uh, a way for her to process the whole transition to e-learning as a teacher is to write a song. And so she has her ukulele with her and she starts playing the song. And after she finishes the intro to the song, she opens her mouth and lets out just a blood-curdling scream. And that's the end of the video. And I think this resonates and is so funny because all of us have probably wanted to let out a scream at some point over these last few weeks. Whether that's just from the frustration of being cooped up at home, or whether that comes from the anger of losing a job, or the fear of getting sick, or just the indefinite nature of this whole season and, and when it will come to an end. This is a time of disorientation and of frustration in so many ways for all of us. And to me, these words of Jesus speak directly into all of this that we are feeling and experiencing. Jesus invites all who are weary and burdened by life to come to him and find rest. This is an open invitation for all who have ears to hear him, so to speak. That if you are burdened by the thought that you are not doing enough right now, that you are not being productive enough while you're stuck at home, that you can come to Jesus and find rest in the truth that your value and your worth is not based on how productive you are. It's not based on what you accomplish. It is based solely on the unshakable truth that you are a beloved daughter or son of God. If you're burdened by just the whole weight of this season and all the uncertainties that come with it, then you can find rest in the sovereignty of Jesus. That he is both near to us right now and that he is above all of this mess. And he can lead us through the valley of the shadow of death. If you are weary of legalistic, rule-following religion, you can find rest in the grace of Jesus. If you are weary of the limits of self-help or of your own willpower to change, then you can find rest in the transforming power of Jesus. We are all invited to come to Jesus and find rest from the weariness and from the burdens that we all carry in life. But... I don't want us, when we read these verses, to hear this or to read this as Jesus' invitation to simply come and put our feet up with him. Much more than that, these words from Jesus are an invitation to discipleship. He says here, take my yoke upon you and learn from me. Now, a yoke, of course, is a device that would be worn across the shoulders to help carry a, a heavy load like a cart or a plow. And it's something that you would uh, readily cast off at the end of a hard day's work. 
but it is a, a device, a tool that would be helpful for getting work done. So when Jesus says these words, take my yoke upon you and, and learn from me, he is in effect saying that when you come to me, there will be work to do. And as you go, as you do the work of my kingdom, you will need to learn from me. This life will necessarily involve change, changing old habits, old attitudes, old behaviors. And in some cases, this will take years, if not a lifetime, for all of these changes to take place in our lives. But one of the keys to this passage is that the difference between Jesus' yoke and the yoke of the Pharisees, those uh, religious leaders that Jesus clashed with, or, or the yoke of the oppressive Roman authorities, that is that Jesus' yoke is easy and his burden is light. The life of following Jesus necessarily is going to involve work. But this work that we do as his disciples should not be burdensome, soul-sucking, soul-crushing work. No, it should be quite the opposite. It should be life-giving work. And so if we find that our life with Jesus is burdensome and heavy, then we should probably take a step back and examine how we're following Jesus, because that is not the way that he has laid out before us to follow him. But this, this whole passage, these words from Jesus, once again, are not simply an invitation for us to come and put our feet up with Jesus. Nor are they words that invite us to establish set-aside times of rest or rhythms of rest in our lives as important and godly as it is to do that. Much more than either of these things, these words from Jesus are an invitation to a full life in him. A life where we exchange a constant striving to achieve or to be perfect for the freedom that comes from simply being obedient to him and leaving the rest to him. It's a life where the poor in spirit and those who mourn and the meek and the merciful and the peacemakers where all of these belong and are blessed. It's a life where our souls find rest, not in our circumstances, but in the goodness and the faithfulness and the grace of our unchanging God who invites all of us to come to him and to follow him. I'm gonna read these verses one more time to close. And as I do this, I would like to invite you to hear these words as Jesus' invitation for you to follow him more closely and more deeply today. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light.